Hello everybody, happy Saturday, October 13th. I decided to come outside today because it is a beautiful sky. This is my kind over there. I was born in November, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. <laughs> but we're here today. Happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> Daisy's out here with me too. Say hello, Daisy. Hi. Hi, everybody. We love you. Okay. I got Pee Wee's game to go to at 1230. Hi, my baby. I love you. This might be one of my last um, Instagram live stories because I'm just going to be posting them on my YouTube. So you got to go on there to check them out. I'll give you little teasers on here, but in order to watch the full videos coming soon, you're going to have to follow, subscribe to my YouTube. Okay, let's start with Jesus Daily, Aaron Tabor today. October 13th. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Psalm 32, 7. Sorry about the extracurricular noises, but c'est la vie, so is nature. A safe place. It's hard sometimes to find a safe place. Circumstances change, relationships deteriorate, and unexpected obstacles crash in on us. Where do we go when we're afraid, weary, anxious, and troubled? You may not be able to have a home with walls and, sec and security surveillance or an isolated mountain cabin where no one can find you. But you can create a safe place within your heart by spending time with God and asking Him to meet you there. Yesterday, I needed to spend some more time with God because I'm, I like to keep myself surrounded by people and love. And, um, hi, Auntie. Um, so I'm always around people and that means I hardly ever get to spend alone time with God. So last night, um, I did and then it's like he was talking back to me, a lightning struck twice. It was beautiful. I just felt it. <laughs> Throughout your day, numerous forces will disrupt your schedule, unravel your expectations and frustrate your best laid plans. I love you, auntie. But you can remain calm and in control. I'm, you have no idea how much I've been stressing pe uh, to people to be in control of your thoughts and your mind. It does wonders. Knowing that you're grounded by the firmest foundation, God remains your hiding place. A safe shelter from the winds of change and the storms passing through the day. You see this storm sky? Beautiful. It's just passing by. It says to connect, share an image of your ideal safe place and ask others to do the same. What do you notice about the different ways we all want shelter? I know some people like to uh, shut themselves down and, and bury themselves away. I would do that pretty often from time to time. I go into hibernation. That was my safe place. And then I come out renewed. <laughs> but it's not always good to be alone in your safe place. Make sure that when you're in your safe place, you're there with God because He is your safe place. All right. Thank you, Aaron Tabor. Now we're going to go to Joyce. Trusting God day by day. I got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. So we have October 13th. Resist the devil at his onset. Please. Resist the devil at his onset. Pray that you may not at all enter into temptation. Luke 22:40. The temptation to quit is part of being human, but we must resist that temptation and never give up. It is important that we recognize the lies of Satan 
Oh my gosh, this is like exactly what I was just talking to my friend about this morning. <sighs> and that we resist him at the onset of his attack. Bye, Felicia. Don't nobody have time for you. Temptation is one of the realities of the Christian life and a hindrance to success we must work to overcome. Jesus said, temptation must come, so be on your guard against it. Be built God tough. <laughs> there are many types of temptation, so we don't always recognize discouragement and thoughts of giving up as being a temptation from the devil. But it is. Some thoughts the enemy may plant in your mind to tempt you to give up might sound like this. Hi, Auntie Chrissy. This is too difficult. I really am not qualified to do this. Oh my gosh, I've had these that thought in my head for the longest time. Like, I let the devil tell me that I wasn't good enough to go out there and be me. I'm facing too many problems and can't possibly solve them all. That's okay, because God can. I have no one to help me. Really? <clears throat> my friends and family think I'm crazy for pursuing this. That's okay. You don't need them to back you up. You just need God to back you up. I don't have the money to do this. This is taking too long. Okay. When God wants something to be done, he will provide for you. And it will happen on his timing. You just have to pray, not worry, and be patient. I encourage you to begin to recognize temptations as work of the enemy. Please be aware. And I want you to start resisting each temptation with everything in you. Don't consider any temptation insignificant. Don't let the devil lure you into passivity or wait until you've been in a depressed, hopeless slump for three days. Listening to the enemy list reasons to abandon your cause. Resist the devil at his onset. Declare war against all forms of temptation. Oof. Oh my gosh. Show the enemy no mercy. You can do it. You have God on your side. Nobody is stronger or more powerful than God. Okay? Yes, Auntie. He tries to rob us of our identity. I was just talking to somebody very close to us yesterday. Telling her, you are not that person that the devil is trying to tell you that you are. You're just listening to his lies and letting him lie to you. And taking all those lies and allowing that to just ruin you. It's like... Ugh, it's the worst feeling ever. Talk to the devil. Look at him straight in the face wherever he's at. Be loud and proud. And just say, what does she say? What does she want him to say? Declare war against all forms of temptation. Instead, okay, the instant you feel tempted to give up, you need to say out loud, I will not quit. I refuse to give up. I trust God and I will finish what he has called me to do. Amen, amen, amen. Ooh. Okay, that's where that joy comes. I got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Daisy, where is it? Oh, Daisy's joy, Daisy's love. Mm. Let me know if you want some FaceTime with Daisy. She got lots of love for you. Okay. As you can tell, I felt this one really, really loud and clearly today. It's happening all around me. These messages, they're real. Listen to them. Use them. Knowledge is power. You have the knowledge to fight against the devil because God is your knowledge. God is your power. God is your strength. Do it. Okay. I have been talking a lot about Joyce Meyer and um, her books that I've been reading. And Approval Addiction is one of them. I haven't finished this one yet. So, Joyce Meyer, Approval Addiction, Overcoming Your Need to Please Everyone. There's only one person you need to please, right? Okay. Where should we read at today? Um, let me read. Well, no, I guess I shouldn't read where I haven't read yet. Or well, maybe. Maybe, maybe. <sighs> Rejection Affects Perception. Okay. Oh, did I read that part already? How about this? 
Breaking Controlling Powers, Chapter 12, Approval Addiction. It is offensive to God when we let other people control us. He sent Jesus, his only son, to purchase our freedom with his life. The Bible says we have been purchased with the price. See 1 Corinthians 6.20. And that price is the precious blood of God's only dearly beloved son. If you are letting someone control your life, intimidate you, manipulate you, and cause you to do what you know in your heart is not right, then you need to break those controlling powers. It is not God's will for us to be controlled by anybody except his Holy Spirit. And even that decision, he leaves up to us. God won't infor even force his will on us. So we certainly should not let anyone else do it. Let me say that sentence again and read it with the right emphasis. God won't even enforce his will on us. So we certainly should not let anyone else do it. Right? Approval addicts almost always end up being controlled and manipulated by other people. Satan always sends someone else along their way who is a user. A user is someone who deviously takes advantage of people for his own benefit without any concern for others. But, okay, we'll just keep reading. <laughs> people who are being controlled are not confronters. And those who are controllers don't like being confronted. These two types of dysfunctional people play on each other's weaknesses. One enables the other. <laughs> man. Man, man, man. I've been a part of that. It's no fun. But as I was going to say, you can only... Uh, Cardi B said it, I think, right? can only let somebody do to you what you allow them to do to you or something like that. You know what I'm saying, right? People will only do to you what you allow them to do to you. So if you don't respect yourself and you don't demand respect for yourself, then nobody's going to respect you. They're going to continue to walk all over you because it's easy. Why not, right? So stand up. Have your courage. Have your strength. Don't allow people to walk all over you and abuse you and use you take your kindness for weakness because I have done that for so many years and it has gotten me nowhere. Now, I will stand up for myself, ask and you shall receive. A closed mouth doesn't get fed, right? These things aren't said for no reason. They all have meaning. They all are so real. 100. I love you guys. So, that was Approval Addiction, Joyce Meyer, Chapter 12. Breaking controlling powers, the next part of that is the enabler. And then it talks about the enabler and how they are making your own decisions. What about submission to authority? These books are amazing. They seriously will change the way you think. And when you change the way you think and put all of your trust in God, your life will change in so many ways. I love you guys, and I want you to take me as an example. And I hope that um, these stories are good for you and open up your eyes and your hearts and your minds and your souls to know all about God and His love. Okay? I love you. Have a beautiful weekend. Like I said, this might be one of the last live videos on Instagram before I go strictly YouTube and just put some little uh, snippets on here to catch your eye. So make sure you go subscribe and share and ring that bell so that you can be notified when I have more videos. Also, um, since I wasn't using my... Uh, hands-free thingy to hold up my camera, my phone, um, I had some audio bloopers yesterday, so I'm not too professional on all this, I don't have the best phone or anything, I'm doing what I can, but I would also love anybody's help who is knowledgeable in the YouTube situation, uh, anybody who can help me in any way would be awesome, because this is all I got, I got my... Metro PCS ZTE phone, thank you Jesus, <laughs> and a chair and this little concoction to hold my phone up. Got dogs barking in the background, got 
Got birds chirping. Got the beautiful sky. That's all we need, right? I love you. Have a beautiful day. Love is all you need. Spread the love with everybody, at least at least 10 people a day, right? I'm going to go to this football game in a little bit, so. Smiles everywhere. Love is all you need. If you can't tell, I love being outside. <laughs> Daisy said, yeah.